morning, everybody. How's everybody doing on this fine Sunday morning? Good, I hope. Hope everybody had a good week. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Nice morning spirit fire. Oh, let's do that old fur crack. I want to thank everybody for joining us on those two longer live feeds. Everybody in the comment section was just, was just awesome. That was so much fun. <coughs> Sorry, Peppy, I didn't mean to keep you up two days last week. Hope you're catching back up from that. <laughs> I'll just figure out a day when something when nobody's working or whatever. Figure something out. That or maybe we just won't go so long. It's good to get that, you know, get that going, get it out of the, get it out of our system, I guess. <laughs> uh, it sure is fun though. Chatting with everybody, that's that's awesome. And if I miss your comment, I'm sorry. In and out and whatever, you know. I apologize. I'll get better. <laughs> I know I shouldn't have a, have a problem, but, you know. Good for the brain. Yeah, gosh. Thanks for all the support. From all around the world. It's pretty neat. I go from from Russia. It's great to see you in there. Sure, having fun with it. That's that's for sure. Kim Wilson, how's that axe treating you? <laughs> I know you had to have been out to swing it. 
Oh gosh, I can't wait to see what comes of that. That's just awesome. The group chainsaw, that 1010, it's on its way to Casterman's now. Looking forward to seeing what he puts on it. <laughs> you never know, with Casterman, it might be a whole saw by the time he's done. <laughs> oh, no, thanks everybody for participating in that, in this, in the saw thing. I hope, I hope you're all enjoying it. Make video of it when you, when you get it, when it comes to, when it comes to your place, make a video of what you did. Say something about it, whatever. I don't know. I just think it would be fun to see it progress, you know? Thanks, Christine, for everything that you do for the community, for bucking, coming over to to, to the live feeds. But it's just, it's just I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just so cool to see everybody, you know, going around the community and supporting each other's channels and supporting each other and what they're doing and advice direction it's pretty neat That was awesome. Yesterday chatting with you, Smitty. It's really, it's really interesting to to, to see and watch get all the different saw builders in, you know, in the community. Different thought processes and. And what go, you know, what goes into it? Because a guy like me, you know, I didn't even. I don't know. I don't know anything about porting saws. And it's been a good learning experience for me to run a ported saw. A few of them, different, you know, of different kinds, different sizes. You know, from different guys out there. And one guy, I want to—I haven't run one of his saws yet, but if you're into if you're into high RPM and and good power, if you're into that kind of stuff, and you haven't gone to go over to check it out, go check out Cajun Work Saws. Those 350s, Pat, are just unbelievable. 
Yeah, go check out Cajun Work Saws. <laughs> those little 350s, man, those things are ripping. <laughs> 272s, 372s, and 660. All of them. Those are, that, it's, it's neat. It's neat. Like I said, you know, different perspective. Some of, you know, some of the saw builders might come up with the same numbers, but... Just the way they look at it, you know, and the way they, the way they see it, it's pretty neat. It's pretty cool to follow. John Bob and Aaron Lynch, Muffler Elite 101, Schmitty, go check them all out. Go see their process. <laughs> If you want to learn how to port saws, there's a lot of great guys in the community. Tin Man, Iron Horse, Bell Hopper, all of them. And they're all willing to, you know, they're all willing to share their information and help guys that want to become saw porters. Josh at McDaniel Saws, yeah. Yeah, all of them. Super cool. Gosh, that's sure a nice fire today. Hope it's sending some healing out. I know it's sending heat out. <laughs> Thanks to all the new subscribers. Appreciate it. Morning coffee and a morning spirit fire. Had an interesting conversation with Buckin about 28 inch husk barna bars. Old style. Don't know when they changed it. Don't know why they changed it. But they changed it about uh, the, uh, the number of drivers. Older, older husk barna bars were designed for 92 drivers instead of the new style is 93 drivers. So if you end up buying an older Husky and it comes with a 28 inch bar and you need a chain for it, make sure you look at the number on the on the bar that's stamped into it. Make sure it's 92 or 93. Make sure you know what it is. <laughs> it was pretty it's pretty uh it's pretty interesting to me. Because some of the older bars, like the old McCulloch bars and the old Sugahara bars, are 92 drivers that fit on my like my P51 and like I said, the McCulloch 28 inch. It was 92 driver. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it's pretty interesting. John Hudson, how's that chain making coming? 
Hopefully you're getting that. Derek LaFald, hopefully you're getting feeling better, buddy. Hope everybody's getting better. Well, Bellhopper's sure looking good, ain't he? Gosh, he's doing good. Him and the fam. That's awesome. We better get her crackling one more time before we sign off, eh? Don't forget to help someone out today. Help when you can and where you can. Thanks everybody out there for, for all your inspiration. And confidence and spirit. Thanks, Nick Pixel, for all your help, buddy. Yeah, go show us some su support for all the saw builders out there. It's a nice pair of bucks you guys got, Travis. That's cool, making memories. Making memories. Thanks for sharing that. Maca. Thanks, Maca. <laughs> 
You rock, brother. All right, thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining me at the Spirit Fire. I hope it finds you in a healing way. Take care. Be safe. Tasman is rolling. Hope you're enjoying the, the crackle of the fire. Be kind.